here we can prompt to tell Copilot, and I'm just going to hit the up arrow again to say, hey, create unit test. This whole hitting the up arrow is really useful when I'm working with Copilot because I often want to use some previous prompt again. So this time I just want to hit a different file and I want to write unit tests for contact.tsx. So this component is a little more involved. It has logic inside of it. It has more markup. And so we're going to end up with more in our automated tests as well. So this will take a moment to generate all of this. I'll go ahead and accept what happened in here. And we'll take a look at what we have in this case. So again, it chose to use React Testing Library. And a little side note here, what's interesting is it appears that Copilot is smart enough to look around to recognize the environment that it's in. So it knows in package.json, well, what do I have in here? Well, I have Vite test in here. So I probably am wanting to write tests using Vite test. I have React testing library in here as well. So I might want to use it to test React. So looking at the dependencies and figuring these things out is how we get there.